Cars. What's going on YouTube? Kelly Gaines back here again with a different video today guys. So today is the 4th of July, so shout out to America. Now obviously guys living here in Ireland, I don't know anything about the, the 4th of July. The only thing I know about the 4th of July is that it's America's Independence Day. I don't know how it was happened or how it made or whatever, or the Declaration of Independence. I don't know anything like that. So we're gonna be taking a crash course in US history here, because I wasn't taught it in school. Um, but the only thing I do know, like I said, is like us here in Ireland, we beat off the British man, you know, just with pitchforks and some turf and, you know, some, you know, whatever, horses and stuff. We beat the shit out of basically the, the greatest army in the world at the time was the British Empire. And, you know, using just a couple of local farmers and pitchforks, we beat them off. The English are not very friendly. Well, they're just sore losers. What did they lose? Little thing called the American Revolution, John. Never heard of it. I'll give you the highlights. They came over with about a million men. We had a bunch of farmers with pitchforks and beat them like a drum. Uh, same as the Americans. And yeah, we're just legends, but guys, we're just better than the British. So let's get straight into this one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my Patreon. Go check out my merch. And yeah, let's see what the Americans, uh, what they did to fight off the British. Because uh, I've never seen this before. Living in Ireland, we never get told about any American history. Uh, at all. I didn't take history in college or in you know the in school up till after you know third year or whatever. So this one should be interesting. Yeah, let's get it. Right, so the story goes that the founders of this nation signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, parting ways with King George to found the freest, finest ah, nation on so 1776, 1776, they signed the Independence Declaration. Uh, your man there, Thomas, what's his name? Uh, Thomas Hancock, uh, John Hancock, uh, well, he was one of the guys that signed the, the declaration to free themselves from King George. Shout out King George. Uh, he was not a very friendly guy, I believe at the time. Is with King George to found the freest, finest nation on the face of the earth. You know what's funny actually, I always say this, like probably the worst thing Britain has ever done in the history is give up America like they didn't fight harder for America because like look at where they are today you know obviously they don't know uh you know what could have been but you know what I mean if Britain still you know fought harder for America would have been kind of crazy imagine what the world would look like today would be wild yeah, except the Continental Congress actually approved a resolution of independence on July 2nd. The Lee resolution was proposed uh -huh. by Richard Henry Lee of Virginia in June of 1776 and was a simple legal declaration of separation from England. John Adams got so excited about it that he wrote to his wife Abigail, The second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. I am at- uh, Okay, so they actually got the dates wrong. So it was, what was it? He said it was going to be signed on the 2nd of July. And then maybe obviously a few few things uh, they got mixed up. John Adams is one of the guys that signed it, I believe. I know a little bit about it, guys, but not too much. To believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. It ought to be uh. solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations. From oh, and, and illuminations, I like that. So yeah, we don't actually have an Ireland day, a 4th of July, or a Canada day. Well, we have an Ireland, guys, we have St. Patrick's Day, but nationalism is very strange in Ireland. Uh, I was just talking about this yesterday about, with my brother, like, we actually don't have like this like true, like really hardcore sense like that maybe some other countries feel in the world, like Canada and America Day, you know, like 4th of July. We have like St. Patrick's Day, which actually revolves around St. Patrick. We actually don't have like a day of independence, you know? Um, not that people celebrate a lot anyway, maybe some people celebrate it in Ireland, uh, that, that's like 1916 or whatever, the Easter Rising, that was just like the fight for it, and then the day they signed it was another day, I don't even know the other day, uh, but St. Patrick's Day is the day that we celebrate here in Ireland, guys, and yeah, that's like our national holiday, that's like the biggest day, that's legit the greatest day ever, that's my favorite day of the year, every year, apart from like Halloween, <laughs> kind of randomly. But yeah, that's our day. But we don't have any illumination, any of that kind of stuff. Like I know America, they celebrate with like bonfires and fireworks. We celebrate it by going on the piss, man. Getting all the Guinness you can in you guys. Guinness and friggin' just, you know what I mean? Wearing Ireland jerseys. I was just wearing an Ireland uh, foot, you know, footy jersey, soccer jersey this year. 
it was class, guys. You know, it was a class day. Uh, that's I don't know why it's like the greatest day, man. It's just so class. It's like very sense of nationalism. But like I said, guys, we don't have that true sense of nationalism that they have in the U.S. and Canada. You know what I mean? People here are very nationalistic as well, obviously. But in America, like it just seems to be taken to another level. Like here, almost if you have like a flag outside your house, it seems like you're like a terrorist or something, which is kind of a bit odd. I don't really get the get the whole meaning behind that. I do understand why some people would think that because of the division between Britain and us. But it's just dumb, guys. You know, why can't you celebrate your country without being called a terrorist? Seems kind of a bit odd. <laughs> but yeah, guys, pretty cool. America, yeah, they celebrate it wild, obviously. I've uh, My friends told me that it's like the craziest day of the year by far, you know? One end of this continent to the other, from this time forward, forevermore. So what happened on the 4th? <laughs> well, not that much, actually. The Declaration of Independence was the formal announcement of independence, and ah. its text was approved on July 4th, 1776. Wow. The fancy parchment version, with all the pretty cool. calligraphy, wouldn't get drawn up until July 19th, and oh. most members of the Congress signed the Declaration on August 2nd. Adams may have been oh. wrong about the date, but he was definitely right about the celebration. Americans started celebrating the 4th of July as early as 1777, and as Adams wow. predicted, the holiday was observed with feasts, 13 gun salutes, and fireworks. Why don't we call them Illuminati? 13 gun salutes? We just have like 13 pub salutes or whatever, you know, going to 13 pubs and drinking a pint at each pub. Whatever, some shit like that. Anymore, Stan. You know, people can say like, oh, we put a man on the moon and we can refrigerate our meat now, but Ooh. I miss the old days. Anyway, in 1778, Ooh. George Washington celebrated the 4th by giving his soldiers a double ration of rum, and also Ooh. there was much more shooting than usual. <laughs> Dude, in Ireland, what would that be? That would be a double rationing of a baby Guinness or whatever, or a double rationing of... Jesus, Jameson, I guess? That would be closer. While the people celebrated the anniversary from the beginning, the federal government took its sweet time in formalizing the holiday. Independence Day became an unpaid holiday for federal employees in 1870 and became a paid day off in 1938. Fourth of Damn, July that was like 100 years that you guys didn't get paid for that day. We obviously here in Ireland, we get paid for that day. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, now it normally lands, see this year was dope, this year was class. It landed on like a freaking shit. I think it was like a Thursday. So we got <laughs> the Ireland is the shit. We got the Thursday off, the Friday off, which was just amazing. And then obviously, um, you know, the Saturday and Sunday. But I think we also got the Monday off. So we got like five days off, just absolutely on the lash. This was, you know, this P Paddy's Day was literally one of the best Paddy's Days of my life, guys. It was just absolutely class. Paddy's Day is always unreal. And when I say Paddy's Day. P A double D Y double D. Uh, I mean Patrick's Day, guys. Right. So I'm giving a breakdown to the Americans watching this, guys, because I think like 40% of my viewers are from the U.S. So Paddy's Day, guys. Right. Paddy's Day is like something that you see, like I don't know, on like I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've only seen that. <laughs> you know what I shouldn't even say this. I've only seen like Patty's Day on like like I don't know, like porn videos or something. You know where it's like. On like you know they they spell it P A T T Y S. I'm like, what is that? Maybe it's some weird kind of boring thing they do in America. I don't know, guys. So let's keep going. Instances have evolved over the years, but they generally involve patriotic displays, including decorations, fire, and explosives. Essentially, we nice. celebrate our independence by having a one-day fake war each summer. Huzzah! Ooh. Ah, freedom tinnitus. Early observances were marked by huge bonfires, but the litigious nature of modern American society has greatly reduced the number of bonfires. However, we still have a lot- I mean, the litigious nature of Ireland, we've never had any of that kind of stuff, guys. Uh, we have bonfires on Halloween, I believe. That's about it. The fireworks on the 4th of July. Many cities and towns across the country sponsor fireworks displays on the 4th. New York's fireworks display is the largest in the nation. Despite Jeez. the grandeur of these officially sanctioned displays, many, many individuals across the nation feel the need to blow stuff up on their own in their yards because, you know, they have all of their fingers oh. and uh, that seems like too many. Many states have restricted Dude. the sale and personal like use of fireworks, up, freedom haters, but would-be patriots find their way. Yeah, Americans love fireworks. I don't know. We actually love fireworks here too. Fireworks are actually illegal in Ireland. Guns are illegal in Ireland for the most part. Like you can't own handguns and stuff like that. Um, so everyone's like shooting them off and stuff, you know, in America. But you can uh, own fireworks here, guys. And, you know, 
everyone used to bring them into school and stuff and like throw them in bins and stuff. And I remember like one kid like like got like a finger blown off or something. I think yeah, the fireworks crazy guys. Uh, handled responsibly. But here in Ireland, we're just crazy with fireworks, man. It's, it's actually nuts. ...into marginal neighborhoods every year to buy fireworks out of the backs of vans. In my neighborhood, these personal pyrotechnic celebrations start in about mid-May and continue well into August, causing my dog to have a very stressful summer. John Adams' prediction <laughs> about gunfire holds true as well. On most military bases, 50 cool. gunshots, one for each state, are fired at noon on July 4th as a salute to the Union. And in Stan's neighborhood, where you go to buy the fireworks out of the backs of vans, celebratory gunfire is is common throughout the year. Here is an I never thought that like in America, like where like someone dies and stuff in war combat and then they shoot guns to celebrate their death or whatever or to honor their death. It's like, dude, the guy died by gunfire. Isn't that a little bit disrespectful that you're shooting guns at their funeral? I'm not really sure about that. You know, maybe it's like a warrior's uh, funeral or a soldier's funeral. I don't know, guys. So leave in the comments down below what that's about. But yeah, America has very different traditions than Ireland. Like, very different traditions. Actual bullet hole in Stan's actual window. Stan, can we get the Libertage again? <laughs> bullet came into my house on the 4th of July. In the 19th That's century, crazy. many ex-presidents celebrated the 4th of July by dying. Both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July 4th, 1826, oh. and James Madison died on the 4th of July in 1831. Calvin- Holy crap, what's- That's crazy. That is crazy. George Washington died on the 4th of July as well. Wow, wait, let me hear that again. And John Adams. Both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams oh, died. Thomas Jefferson and uh, John Adams. Died on July 4th, 1826. And James Madison died on the 4th of July in 1831. Calvin Silent Cal Coolidge was born on July 4th, 1876. Cool. But as he was never demonstrably alive, no one really cares that much. Finally, <laughs> lest we forget, Americans also celebrate the 4th of July by eating. Millions of Americans mm. host cookouts to celebrate independence. Cookouts. <laughs> Barbecues, huh? some cookouts in the backyard. And the greatest spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The current world record is 68 HDBs, hot dogs and buns, in 10 Ooh, minutes. Yeah. That means the world record holder, Joey Chestnut- 68 in 10 minutes. But consumed about 20. Yeah, Joey Chestnut is disgusting. You know, I actually prefer Furious Pete and Matt Stoney, they're legends, but Joey Chestnut just swallows these hot dogs. Shit's just weird, bro. Um, six. That's seventy hot dogs. Oh my god, that's just absolutely disgusting. But anyway, eight thousand five hundred calories in ten minutes. But don't worry, he, he threw it up shortly thereafter. So happy Fourth of July from all of us here at Crash Course. We may not celebrate American Independence on the right day, but I would argue that in spite of it all, it's still worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. All right, guys, that's pretty awesome. So. Obviously, that's my history then on the 4th of July. Pretty cool to know. Uh, so basically, what I learned from that is that they don't, didn't actually, you know, write the independence day they, or write the independence. They didn't do a lot of things till actually after the 4th of July. So, you know, kind of cool. They just use that day as obviously the celebratory day. Uh, in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day, like I said, is the same day. Uh, let me, I, I think that's the day he banished like all the snakes from Ireland, I believe. So let's actually just look up. So St. Patrick's Day. What is St. Patrick's Day? Is a fest, the traditional, oh, it's the death of St. Patrick. All right, okay, so, <laughs> bro, people are gonna hate me. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, people in Ireland are gonna hate me after this. Oh my God, I didn't even know that, guys. It was the death of St. Patrick. The death date of St. Patrick. What, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, I thought it would have been like the day he banished the snakes, but then that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Anyway guys, screw all that. I love you guys all. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, have a good 4th of July. Uh, I can't wait till next St. Patrick's Day. It's going to be amazing. Love you guys all. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.